This is Scott Drake, and you're watching Annuity News Now. Retirement calculators have many flaws, and now a new study finds yet another glitch in the tools that help Americans figure out how much to save for retirement. Uh, this study was authored by the director of the Pension Policy Center in Washington, D.C., John Turner. John, thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you. Let's, uh, let's talk about uh, the study, John. For one thing, why are you studying retirement calculators? Well, um, most people uh, cannot afford to hire a financial planner, uh, but planning for retirement is uh, complicated. And um, there are quite a few uh, uh, retirement calculators that are available on the um, Internet. And um, they have flaws, but I think they're basically um, you know, a good tool for people to use. But your study found that uh, the one, one of the things that they don't take into account is longevity risk. Well, um, they, they take it in, uh, into account, um, some of them take it into account by assuming that you will live a very long time. Like they maybe will assume you live to 95 or one even, I think, to 99. Uh, for most people, that is not a very good way of taking it into account. I guess many people, when they go to the calculator and they, and they see that, well, it makes them hopeful. Um, but in, in, in this particular case, it's short of, sort of short-sighted and, and doesn't give them all the information, perhaps, that they, that they need to make a proper calculation? No. It, for most people, uh, the uh, results they'll get from the calculators indicate that they need to save more than is really necessary because most people don't need to save for a life expectancy of 95. Mm -hmm. um, so that's not good enough. What would you suggest would, would be a solution here? Well, what I suggest is that the calculators, um, instead of just providing one um, output, and basically the output is assuming that you'll take phase withdrawals from retirement to age 95, that a, a better approach, they could still do that if they wanted, but they should also indicate what would happen if you annuitized part of your assets. They could do um, that you know, for everybody, or I think it'd be better if they um, did it in somewhat of a targeted manner. Uh, for example, in, in my study, I uh, created a scenario where it was clear that the person should annuitize. The person um, had a very long life expectancy and uh, no dependence and no desire to leave a bequest. And um, so a person like that, clearly a, a, an annuity would be a, a smart thing to do. So do you think these calculators in general have been not showing that annuities would be helpful enough? Yes. Yeah, so I, I looked at 25 calculators. They all were free calculators available on the Internet. Mm -hmm. And only one of them um, really tried to determine whether an annuity would be a good option for the user. Mm -hmm. uh, and going through your study, did you find anything else that you found interesting? Well, um, one thing that was interesting was that even companies that sell annuities were not recommending them. Mm -hmm. uh, that, as an economist, was a uh, surprise. And not recommending them? How so? Um, I was, you know, entering the data for a woman who um, clearly should uh, take an annuity, mm -hmm. and um, they uh, were just assuming that she would uh, use phase withdrawals, so and they didn't even suggest an annuity as an option. Mm -hmm. So during your study, what you did was you set up a bunch of uh, fictitious profiles and ran each calculator through the process. Is that, is that what I'm understanding here? Yes, that's exactly right. I, I set up two profiles. One profile was um, set up uh, specifically to make annuities a, um, a, the right thing to do, and the other profile was set up in the opposite way, so the person should not annuitize. Um, but the fact is that um, only one... A program made an effort to distinguish between those two uh, profiles. So what would you suggest the, the average person who is beginning to consider these options uh, goes to the internet, finds a retirement calculator, what, how should they go about getting the rest of the information that they need? So there are a lot of calculators out there and uh, so generally they might try more than one calculator just to um, hmm. uh, see that the results vary mm -hmm. and um, I, um, you know, a lot of the calculators are pretty good, but um, the, actually the Department of Labor has a calculator, which I think is um, a reasonable mm -hmm. one. That's at the um, Employee Benefits Security Administration website. And that calculator has a lot of uh, uh, helpful information about how to use it. 
So that would be one place that people might uh, look. We'll provide a link to that uh, uh, website here along with the post. Uh, my guest has been uh, John Turner. He is director of the Pension Policy Center in Washington, D.C., and has recently done a study on retirement cal uh, calculators. Uh, John, thanks for taking the time to join us today. Well, thank you. This is Scott Drake, and you're watching Annuity News Now. <music>